We are live Melbourne Showgrounds right across this weekend for Soundwave 2015. They've got the brand new album out just like you. They're set to hit stage three at seven o'clock this evening. Ronnie from Falling in Reverse, welcome to the K-Rock Lounge. Hi, how you doing? Now, most importantly, are you a jelly bean guy or a nerds guy or do we need to crack open the Tim Tams? Um... Nerds. Nerds? Well, yes. help yourself right throughout this. You, you are much. more than welcome. Hey, first time to Australia, but more importantly, you are now here in Melbourne in one piece. It was sweltering in Adelaide yesterday. How did you get through it? Uh, it was it was fun. We played at 7 o'clock. Uh, it, was, it wasn't as hot yeah. as, as it was before, so it was, you know, it was a little better. Yeah. I'm used to it. We play Warp Tour. Oh, right. And it's just as hot as that. So. <laughs> How does that tour compared to a Soundwave, or are they just both incredible tours to be a part of? I've never been to Soundwave. This is my first time. Oh, making your debut as well. So yeah. how is it shaping up so far? It's amazing. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, the, the crowd's fantastic. Yeah, they're fanatical. They're alive. It's amazing. <laughs> you already have an impressive array of tattoos. Are you going to make the most of the tattoo center that's over um, with your uh, with the uh, behind the scenes action? I think not. Is uh, there any space left more importantly? <laughs> I think not because um, there's tattoos that I didn't particularly wasn't my thing over there. Right. So, yeah. <laughs> like a koala bear. Yeah. Are you going to do the customary uh, Australian thing, hug the koala, that kind of I thing? I really want to do that, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, I listened to your brand new album, On The Riding, because Geelong and the Surf Coast is about an hour from Melbourne. Yeah. I'm in love with it. Uh, every yeah. song I just got into, you've got a very unique sound. Yeah. While there's definitely influences of other artists as well, as, yeah. a, as an artist, do you appreciate being or having those comparisons or do you really want to have your, your own unique sound? I try, we try to do, I try hard to separate from everyone else 100%. That's what I. That's what we go for. Yeah. yeah, and there's definitely, even within each of the songs, a unique sound. Again, there was some real hard metal, some real punk rock. But then your last single, "Brother," was a complete change again, which I have to say is my personal favourite on the album as well. So, having those different styles on the album, but yet meshing it all together, did you find that was an easy process or a difficult process? Uh, I've done it before with my old band, Escape the Fate. We played acoustic or whatever uh, song about my mother leaving me as a child. So I just pulled from the same well. That was way more heartbreaking, though. I don't. I can't even talk about it. it just it's it's a thing that you know. Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess that's where you have music. You're actually able to emotionally invest into that as your way of, of your outlet. So you are set to uh, take stage three at seven o'clock tonight. For those who have come along to see you, what are they going to expect when you get out on stage? <laughs> Let it all out, yeah, because you've had that built up, ready mm -hmm. just to unleash on stage. I've turned into a different person, or I, I'm the I'm the same person, just mm. with the nitro boosters on. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Uh, I never stop moving. Everyone says that I'm just moving. I can't. Yeah. Have you always been like that? Even as a kid, did you have a yes. lot of energy? Go, go, yeah. go. Uh -huh. <laughs> How yeah. did you? Was it music that you put? that energy into but or were you also a kid who enjoyed sports or you know how else did you release that energy skateboarding oh, yeah. so you've got the coordination yeah can you do the, the I, tricks and the people flips say and everything? i'm like a cat and i always land on my feet i fell off a stage in belgium mm. and front flipped on accident and literally landed on my feet on accident i was like whoa where yeah. was the crowd to pick you up crowd surf you to the big back gap. there's a oh. big gap <laughs> That's when you could have done with a posse right there just to help yeah. you up and carry you across. Yeah. Thank you so much for stopping by the K-Rock Lounge. We love having you here. Can't wait to see you on stage three. Enjoy the rest of Soundwave 2015. Thank you, Thank you very much. See you guys soon.